Come on. Oh, there she goes. Come on. Good oh, girl. Oh, man. Give her a little something. She's working so hard. Oh, a little head thrash. See, Ziggy's getting bigger and bigger, and as she gets more and more mature, around like five, six foot, relax! She becomes more and more of a crocodile. So notice, she is not as tame as she used to be or habituated to handling. So I had a neighbor over who was a good friend of mine. He was actually fishing over in the pond. And when he was fishing, his line snapped and was snagging onto the biggest bass in the pond. So Landon's about to get in the water, and we found the string that's attached to that bass. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm currently hanging out at Chandler's Wild World. CWW! Outside the Serpentarium with my baby Ziggy right here. Ziggy is an American crocodile I've been raising for over two years. She was a little hatchling. Crocodilus acutus, a species of croc found here in South Florida, in the Caribbean, both sides of Mexico, and Central and South America. What's really cool about this croc, them being found in Florida makes Florida the only place on the planet where you can find alligators and crocodiles living in the same ecosystem. So it's really cool. We're gonna see if she wants to come get some food. I got a little something special today. Landon, you wanna bring in the fish? The Come on, bring it. Ahem, we have this special crocodile diet. It's very good, very tasty, oh. very nice. What, what, what is this? What kind of fish is this? Oh, this is a rabbit. No, it is no, actually... Yeah. This is Yellowjack, guys. Um, super fresh, caught here, actually in the Florida Keys where crocodiles would be hanging out on the reefs. Best diet for the American croc. Best diet for the American croc. The best you can get. The best you can get. We get the best, which is Chick-fil-A for humans. And Yeesh. then for the crocodiles, they love this fish. I mean, being an estuarian crocodile living in the salt, brackish water, they love to eat crabs, fish, mainly stuff like snapper, like you find in the mangroves. This is a great crabs, day. Crabs, fish, snapper. But the yellow jack is the tastiest. This is the best. You want to see if she wants some food? I think she will like this. Ziggy! It's kind of a high drop. Maybe. Oh my god. This is, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. I'm going to put this right here. Maybe it's going to actually come down. Come on, Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on! Come on! Oh, 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 oh! Come on! Oh, you just had it. Oh, you, I missed it. I don't want to get big though. Ooh, this is dangerous. Ziggy, you ready? Oh, good girl! That's really, dude, this is the best. And Landon's a spear fisherman, so he always gets a catch like that. I used to spearfish a little bit, but I'd love to get back into it. Maybe you'll see some future videos on Chandler's Extra Wildlife, which is the second channel. Go subscribe right here, that's the name. Check it out, check it out. She wants more fish. I think she does want more fish. Ziggy, you want some more fish? She's hungry. Ooh, Ziggy, come on. Come on, you ready? I'm holding the bird. Come on. Come on. Oh, there she goes. Has the taste. Come on. Come on. Good oh, girl. Oh, man. Give her a little something. She's working so hard. Oh, a little head thrash. This is great. So this is, uh, this is a good opportunity to try and at least get her out because I used to train this crocodile every time I fed her. She would come out of the enclosure, get on the floor, but she's in this bigger tub, so now it's like a two-foot drop and I don't want her to fall down. So maybe we can get her to slide down. Come on, Ziggy. Come on, baby. You need some help? Come on. Oh, don't bite. Be nice. Oh, she's getting big. There. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I have it here on the We're gonna pull the crook off the dock. There we go. Ziggy, come on. Turn right there. We're gonna have to pull it down the dock. Come on, Ziggy. There we go. Come on. Want some fish? Oh, that was not a good catch. Okay, we'll try again. Ziggy. Ziggy. Go, Ziggy. Try again. Good girl. Good girl. This is all new for her. She hasn't walked around out here much. Come on. Want some more? Oh, there we go. Good girl. Can you let me touch you? I haven't been able to handle her that much lately, so... Let me just see what we can get away with here. Good girl. Good girl. You want some more food? You gonna bask? Okay, oh, let me get another piece of fish. Oh yeah, she loves that sun. Ziggy, you want some more food? God, her eyes are so beautiful. Look at those eyes. Come on, Ziggy. Come on. I gotta get her back on training. After a week or so, she'll pick it back up. You know, crocodilians are super smart. She just needs a good area that she can come in and out of so we can do our little training sessions. Right now it's a little difficult. 
So we got this Waterland tub, and the way it's set up right now, I actually have to drill the top shut because it's not the best top. I have to get it remade. Come on, baby. You want some more? Good girl. Good girl. No food. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Sweet baby. How big was she when you first got her? She was like two weeks old. She was like that big. Tiny That's little American frog hatchling. And now she's going on three feet, two and a half years old. She's a beast. Want to feed her a little piece? I'll feed her a little piece. Landon actually works at Zoological Wildlife down in Homestead. So Landon works with not just crocodiles, but tigers, lions, chimpanzee. Ziggy's going on a little adventure right now. Let's see if she'll want to eat. What's more food, baby? Ready? Oh, oh, Ziggy, come on, eat the food, Ziggy. She's like, I'm trying to go for a run. I'm trying to get some Here, exercise. I think she's just going to go on a walk. Come here. Oh, relax. See, Ziggy's getting bigger and bigger, and as she gets more and more mature, around like five, six foot, relax. She becomes more and more of a crocodile. So notice, she is not as tame as she used to be or habituated to handling. And I haven't really put much time into handling her. And you can tell with her little scent glands popping out of her throat right there, she is not happy with me. So we're gonna put her back. She's got a nice belly full of fresh fish from the ocean. Thanks, Lane. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. We actually have another fishy situation. So I had a neighbor over who was a good friend of mine. He was actually fishing over in the pond. And when he was fishing, his line snapped when snagging onto the biggest bass in the pond. So there's actually a six foot string and hook hanging off the biggest bass in there. I think Lane's gonna jump in and try and catch that bass and save it. So let's put little Jiggy away. You okay, baby? Look at her, she's such a beast of a crocodile. She's sweet. At this size, if she bites you on your finger, your finger's coming off. So that's why I'm restraining her and making sure I don't end up getting bit. But look at her, she's a legitimate crocodile. Her osteoderms are becoming nice, solid, protruding off her back, solid bone. You use to protect those internal organs and also use a, a solar panel for energy because these guys are cold-blooded reptiles and they rely on the sun for energy. So that's just like a big solar panel on the back absorbing that heat. And look at that big, beautiful rudder tail beast of a crocodile. When she gets her big pond set up, she's going to get so much exercise. Even putting her in this bigger waterland tub, she's definitely gotten more muscular around the tail. Look at that. What's really cool is, look at the belly scales. Look at every single scale. You can see every individual ISO, pressure receptor, which is basically allowing them to feel any vibration in the water to locate food or potential predator. So this crocodile can sense you coming from its butt, its tail, its neck, anywhere. Look at that. It's a beast of a crocodile. Look at her. I love her so much. I'm proud of her. It doesn't matter that she's getting aggressive, that she's getting snappy. She's a crocodile. It's to be expected. I'm just so proud of her. You're such a good girl. Let's get you inside. Good girl. No hard feelings? You want to throw the rest of the fish in here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if she finds this. Drop it right there. She might get it. Well, that will be a midnight snack for Ziggy. A little snack for Alita. Thank you very much. Snack for Woo! All right, little Ziggy's growing up. I'm so proud. Just please don't take my fingertips off. Anyways, Lynn, you want to get your suit and get ready? I think we're ready to go, yeah. Okay, awesome. We're going to go save this bass. Bass rescue! Oh, we're making me so much more relaxed. Okay, what's up, beautiful people? So we were about to go film capturing that bass, but I had to take like a half hour break to answer a few phone calls. So as you guys know, when I first moved here, a lot of the neighbors around me were freaking out. Some of them were actually spreading rumors about me saying I'm 17 years old, that my dad bought the house for me, that I'm bringing grizzly bears, that I'm doing a giant commercial theme park. None of that is true. You know, I, you guys know who I am. I'm 23, I earned my permits here in the state of Florida. I've been working with wildlife since I was 13 years old on the Indian reservation. And now I'm here, I finally got to my dream property, creating my dream facility for critically endangered reptiles and also educating the public. I love this, this is my dream come true. But I've been nonstop dealing with people having private meetings. Like my community got together, had a private meeting about me, didn't invite me, the person they had a meeting about, at a fruit stand over here. They all gathered together to talk about me, but not one person decided to come over and say, hey Chandler, we would all like to talk to you like adults. Let's sit down and we want to know what you got going on. But no, it's not like that. They don't want to hear what I have to say. The few neighbors I did speak to didn't care about my licensing. They said that uh, this south of the highway, we don't care about your FWC permits. So a lot of drama. And I'm, I'm really sorry to hit you guys with this, and, and but I have to share it. This is my life. 
I just got off the phone with a news reporter. A news reporter's called me going, hey, uh, so I'm sure you know your neighbors aren't too fond of what's going on. Uh, I'm with the da 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 news, and we would like to get your side of the story before we put this piece out. I'm like, I don't even want to talk to you guys, because multiple times in history I've seen news reporters go out, do a news report with somebody I know who owns a wildlife park, like different people I know, and they twist their words around, they show, they show certain cuts. Uh, but I spoke to the guy on the phone and I explained thoroughly and simply just how I've explained to you guys over my career. I've been doing this my whole life. Conservation, education, that's all I care about. I've done shows for thousands upon thousands of people at multiple parks throughout Florida growing up. This is my livelihood, this is my life, I love it, my passion. And uh, I just want everyone to know, <laughs> I'm out here trying to spread the good word about our planet, the wildlife that we need to conserve. because. There's a devastating extinction rate going throughout the planet right now. We're losing habitat, we're losing wildlife, and we're honestly, we're losing ourselves the way some people act. And in this situation, I want everyone to know, if you live near me, please come speak to me. Come, come talk like an adult, come speak to me, and I will tell you everything I have going on. There are no secrets, I'm very transparent. Now the county, they're trying to see if they can take, out, take away my permits or something along those lines, or they're just trying to deal with all the complaints about people not wanting me here, even though I've gone through all the ropes to do things the right way and get my licensing with the state, earn the hours, earn the permits, do everything legally, do everything safely. But they're still coming after me. They, 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 for some reason, think that they can take this away. I earn these permits, they're state permits, so they supersede the county in what they have to say. So at the end of the day, if you guys love Chandler's Wild World, if you love what I'm doing, if you guys want to help me out, feel free to go to stlucycounty.com, go to their Clerks of County complaints, or go to wherever they have their comment section, and you guys let them know, hey, I've been following this guy Chandler for a very long time, and we know that he's not a bad guy, he's an educator. Say what you want, be respectful, that's the number one thing. Go in there, let them know how you feel, let them know that this wildlife park means a lot to you too, because a lot of you guys have been waiting years to see this place happen. And now I finally have the piece of land, and we're about five months away from getting everything done, but it's hard to get things done if the county's trying to shut your permits down, if the county's trying to keep you from getting certain permits taken care of to proceed with your wildlife and whatnot and what, what I have going on with these big plans. So if you guys would like to help me out, please, uh, county clerk, St. Lucie County, I live in Fort Pierce now, right outside the city. If you guys want to go to their websites and you want to give them a little comment, let them know Chandler's Wildlife is not a bad guy. Chandler Kamenesh is not a bad dude. He's a wildlife educator and you should let him, you should have him warm welcomed into your town. Anyways, I don't want to keep going on about this. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys supporting me. And if you guys want to go make a comment, please go make a comment. I'd really appreciate it. But nicely, don't be mean. Where's my dog? Anyways, let's go get that bass. <laughs>
and the bass is sitting in those weeds. So he's going to go around, grab that string. I'll keep both of my eyes on him. And uh, I'm going to try and grab that string from Lynn when he grabs it. Hopefully we can pop that hook out right now. Okay, we'll see. Does he get the string? Does he get the string? Oh, 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 yeah, that's the bass, baby! That's the bass! You got the hook out? We got the hook. Woo! <laughs> we got it. We didn't even have to catch him. Oh, awesome. Perfect. Woo! That was sweet. Hell yeah. I didn't think it was him at first. Well, you did it. Yeah, you saved the bass. Well, Woo. it looks like we have a Christmas miracle here, guys. That was oh, sweet. Lando, the aqua boy. Pop Pop that footage. Hook out. GoPro Look footage definitely came out sweet. That's awesome. Oh, you got GoPro footage. Hell yeah. Oh, let, let's play that footage right now. Oh. We got the hook out. We got the hook. You got that hook popped out of that bass, bro. Hell yeah, That's we awesome. did. I just want to be accredited right now. I posted up on that dock for <laughs> my nipple. Only for later. Okay, that is for okay. the other channel. This okay, is extra <laughs> wildlife, okay. Sat on the dock, waited a while, saw this big bass come by, wasn't sure. Chandler ID'd it. High five. It went just like this, and then he is stuck for days. And now, so I can feel his pain, I'm gonna walk around like this for just a couple days, okay? <laughs> just so there's a mutual respect for me and the fish. Shut up, you. All right, beautiful people. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, don't forget to check us out on Patreon for exclusive content not seen anywhere else on the internet. And also, don't forget to check us out on thechallengewildlife.com where you can get your own merch like get Jack. Oh, I can't really say anything too crazy because the hook's really in there. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, stay passionate and follow your dreams and stay gangster. Oh. Okay, okay, no worries.